Okay, today's second question is 56, merge intervals. Uh, we are given a collection of intervals. We need to merge all the overlapping intervals. So the uh, the intervals are the uh, just the two numbers, the starting and end point. Um, if we see that uh, these two intervals are overlapping with, with each other, uh, we can uh, merge them into one bigger one, so with starting at one and end at uh, six. So uh, that's just the, 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 that's all the merge that's necessary for uh, to work with the first example here. The second example, we have one four and four five. Um, so this just shows us the both endpoints are probably um, inclusive. So we have one four and four five. Uh, the the single point four is an overlapping uh, overlap between these two, so we can actually merge them all together. Uh, so this is the question. Um, so the solution to to this problem is just to sort the, the uh, collection, sort the intervals based on the starting time. So the the way to determine the um, whether we need to merge the two adjacent interval, it's pretty much based on the endpoint of for the previous interval and the starting point of the next interval. Um, if this uh, endpoint is uh, larger than the starting point, we can merge this two into a bigger one. Then the merged uh, uh, interval will still have the starting point of the first interval, but uh, the endpoint will be updated by the second by the uh, by wh whichever is the large, larger one of the uh, of the end value of these two intervals. So if we have one eight and two six. Uh, after it's been merged, it will be one eight. So uh, that's pretty much the strategy for doing this problem. Um, the time complexity—it's uh, just the sort, sort uh, the sorting, which is n log n. And for space, um, the output is uh, if if we exclude the output, then we just have an iterator. Uh, so that's constant. So let's cut this question up. Uh, again, there is no mentioning whether we need to worry about uh, uh, you know empty input or not so we handle that in the very beginning uh, we initialize a, a vector of vectors for the output After that, we just uh, check the adjacent intervals and try to merge them if necessary. Uh, once we see a interval, new interval that has no overlapping with the previous one, we just uh, uh, put the previous merged interval onto the output. So the condition here is that uh, uh, we initially just uh, store the left point and the right uh, starting at end point for the first interval here. Then we uh, look at uh, the. Uh, let me move myself over. Uh, we look at when we look at the, the second, uh, the next interval. We check whether the starting point is larger than the uh, previous end point or not. If it's larger, then we have no overlap. Then we have to put this. Uh, uh, pre prior interval onto the output. Uh, push back. And after that, we updated these two variables to be the uh, new intervals.
Otherwise, uh, we the the two have a overlap. We we just update the right pointer uh, at the end point to be the larger one uh, between those two. So in the very end, uh, we we'll, we might have a dangling uh, running towards the end. So uh, we always have to append that. So let's quickly check if we have problems. Uh, if it's empty, we return the empty. Uh, we sort, then iterate over the intervals. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, it look, looks look good to me. Alright, that's the question for today.